New at 9, temperatures hovering well below freezing with negative wind chills, and many pets are still in the cold. The Animal Protective League has seen a spike in calls over the last winter of people worried about pets left out in the cold for too long. Now, the law requires pet owners to provide shelter, like a doghouse, food and water, but it doesn't cover anything weather related. Veterinarian Colleen Helgen says that the brutally cold weather can be dangerous, even deadly. Pets can be subjected to hypothermia just the same way as people can. Um, while it can be a little misleading that they have a fur coat on all the time, um, pets are just like people in that um, some people are more tolerant of cold weather than others in the same way for pets. You know, signs of hypothermia, hy rather, Signs of hypothermia in dogs include shaking, whimpering, weakness, and burrowing. Frostbite can be harder to see or take days to develop. Now, to help needy families and, and needy pets, the Animal Protective League is asking for dog house donations. If you would like to donate a dog house, you can drop it off at the shelter near the state fairgrounds. You know, when you add wind to these frigid winter temperatures, it really is just brutal, and wind chill is the term used to describe that nasty combination and the danger associated with it. The term wind chill is based on a formula that calculates air temperature and wind speed. So, the stronger the wind, the lower the wind chill factor. Strong, cold winds carry the heat away from our bodies much faster, making us feel much colder. It also affects frostbite, which is always a concern.